Padlocks are everywhere, on storage units, lockers, sheds, and even old treasure chests. They're one of the oldest and most recognizable symbols of security. But have you ever looked closely at a typical padlock and noticed the material it's made of? While the shackle, the part that actually locks into place, is usually hardened steel, the body of the lock is almost always brass. Why brass? Why not steel, which is tougher and seemingly more secure? In this video, we're going to dive into the surprising science, history, and engineering choices that explain why padlocks around the world are mostly made of brass and not steel. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the choice of brass, it helps to first understand what a padlock is actually made of. A standard padlock has a shackle, usually steel, that loops into place and a lock body that houses the internal mechanism, often involving pins and tumblers or disc detainers. The lock body is what you see and handle the most, and that's where brass tends to dominate. While steel might seem like the obvious go-to for strength, the body of a padlock doesn't always need to be the hardest part. Instead, it needs to resist corrosion, endure the weather, and allow precise machining. This is where brass shines, literally and figuratively. At first glance, steel seems like the better material. It's incredibly strong. It's cheaper than brass and it's what we use to build everything from bridges to car frames. But when it comes to locks, steel has some serious drawbacks. For starters, steel rusts. Unless you use expensive stainless steel, regular carbon steel is extremely vulnerable to moisture. A steel padlock left outdoors will begin to corrode surprisingly fast. Rust can seize up internal components and render the lock useless. Brass, on the other hand, doesn't rust. It can tarnish or oxidize slightly over time, but it maintains its mechanical properties even in wet or humid environments. That alone makes it ideal for a lock that might be left outside year-round. One of the most important but often overlooked factors in choosing a metal for a lock is how easy it is to machine. Inside a padlock, especially pin tumbler locks, there are intricate parts with extremely precise tolerances. Cutting those shapes cleanly and efficiently during manufacturing is crucial. Brass is a very machinable metal. It can be milled, drilled, and shaped with minimal tool wear and excellent precision. Steel, on the other hand, is tougher on cutting tools, especially hardened varieties. That means manufacturing a brass lock is not only easier, but also cheaper in the long run, due to less tool maintenance and faster production cycles. For companies that make millions of locks, that cost efficiency is everything. It might seem counterintuitive to use a softer metal like brass in a security device, but keep in mind that most break-ins involving padlocks aren't about brute forcing through the lock body. Attackers typically target the shackle, the steel loop, or try to pick or bypass the mechanism. This is why the shackle is usually made of hardened steel, while the lock body can prioritize corrosion resistance and machinability. Besides, even if you use steel for the entire body, it wouldn't necessarily stop someone with the right bolt cutters, an angle grinder, or lock picking tools. Security comes from design, not just brute material strength. Let's take a closer look at brass itself. Brass is an alloy made of copper and zinc. The copper gives it excellent resistance to corrosion, especially from salt and water. That makes it ideal for marine environments, outdoor applications, and high humidity areas. Some high-end locks even use marine-grade brass specifically designed to endure harsh weather. Steel, unless specially treated or alloyed, just can't compete in those conditions. 
you'll often see rusty steel locks fused shut after a year outdoors, while brass ones will keep functioning smoothly. There's also an aesthetic and tactile reason for using brass. Brass has a warm, gold-like tone that conveys quality and durability. It doesn't feel cold or harsh in the hand, and it develops a distinctive patina over time, rather than just looking rusty or old. This subtle perception of value and reliability is surprisingly important in consumer products. Many people instinctively trust a brass lock more than a dull gray steel one, not because they understand metallurgy, but because brass just looks and feels more premium. Now let's talk economics. Brass isn't cheap, but it's relatively abundant and widely recycled. Many padlock manufacturers source recycled brass, which is easier to melt down and reuse without significant loss in quality. Steel is also recyclable, but because of its corrosion issues and higher machining costs, it's less efficient in padlock production. Plus, the supply chain for brass components in the lock industry is already well established, so changing to a different metal would mean retooling entire factories, retraining workers, and altering machining processes, none of which is cost-effective. That said, steel-bodied padlocks do exist, but they tend to be used in very specific situations. High-security environments like industrial facilities, storage yards, and freight containers may use padlocks with hardened steel or boron carbide bodies. These locks are more expensive and often used in combination with security hasps and enclosures that protect against grinders and bolt cutters. In some weatherproof models, manufacturers combine a steel body with a protective plastic or rubber coating. But for most day-to-day -day applications, especially residential or light commercial use, brass remains the gold standard, pun intended. So to wrap it all up, padlocks are mostly made of brass, not because it's the strongest metal, but because it's the smartest choice. Brass offers a near-perfect balance of corrosion resistance, machinability, durability, and aesthetic appeal. It's easy to work with, doesn't rust, holds up well in harsh conditions, and allows for precise internal mechanisms. Steel may win in raw strength, but in the real world where locks are exposed to weather and need to function reliably, brass just makes more sense. It's a material that quietly does its job day after day, year after year. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.